Now Valorant is a brilliant game. It runs on pretty much any PC from the last decade, and even a bit more. It's probably the only gaming use case for the Nvidia GT710, which will run at over 100 FPS at 1080p. But what about its older brother, I hear you ask? The GT610. Can you play Valorant with playable frame rates on a GT610? Well, today we're going to find out. My name's Andy, and this is Andy's Tech. Now, this topic came up on the Andy's Tech Discord the other day, and honestly, I have a box of these little cards just sitting collecting dust. There's no use case for them apart from display outs, but that said, they were never really made for gaming in the first place. But could Valorant save the day? There's no modern driver support and the specs are pretty terrible. I'll put the tech power up page up now for you. We're not going to overclock the card as well, so it'll be running stock and this will kind of be a worst case scenario. Uh, I would recommend overclocking the card if you can as every little helps, especially when you're working with a low end card like this. I'm going to be running the game today at low settings throughout and we're going to be testing at 1080p, 900p, 720p and that's in low and we're going to be testing it today in a death match as well just to maximize our chances the test system has a xeon 1240v3 8 gigabytes of ddr3 and the game will be on an ssd drive i should probably say before we start the benchmark run that i am in no way recommending that you should go out and buy a gt610 to play valorant with Please don't, but uh, if you happen to stumble across one of these or you're just interested like me to see what these old cards can do, then please follow on. Okay, so first up we have 1080p, and not a great start to the benchmarks right off the bat. We couldn't maintain a 60 plus FPS average, with 50 being the most a little 610 could achieve. That said, the 1% and 0.1% figures were respectable, and they were above 30 FPS. Really, this isn't going to be acceptable though, as nearly every other player is going to be running at 60 plus FPS, and you're just not going to get your shots in before you get hammered. 900p, and this is where the little 610 shine for me. I managed to come second, which is no mean feat, considering I'm not the best Valorant player, and also considering the hardware we're using. Honestly, that was my best ever Valorant deathmatch round. <laughs> I'm usually middle of the pack at best. It was nice and smooth with next to no input lag and an average of 75 FPS. Nice. Okay, last up 720p and although we achieved the highest frame rate of the day at 81 FPS average, the 1% and 0.1% lows were a little worse and the trade off between the clarity of 900p for a couple of extra frame rates in my book just isn't worth it. That said, if you've got a little 720p monitor, you're not really going to miss 900p and crack on, and it's still playable in my book. So is the little GT610 any good for Valorant? Nah. It's playable, yes, and you can get online and have some fun with it, which is kind of crazy considering the card and how low the specs of it are. If you've got one for free in an old system, that's fair enough. But please don't go out and buy this card for gaming. The Intel HD 46000 graphics are roughly the same and will perform about the same also. So thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like or a comment down below. I'd love to know what low end cards you nutters are playing games like Valorant with. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to see more content like this. Thank you as always. God bless, take care and hopefully see you in the next one.